This camera is an absolute classic. This is the Pentax Spotmatic SP. It was introduced in 1964 and the production run continued until 1976, which shows how good this camera was. Uh, this particular model was donated to the Florence Nightingale Hospice Charity. They've asked me to have a look at it, see how it works after all these years. Uh, I'll put a link in the comments to their eBay selling page where you can see what they've got for sale at any particular time. This is the Pentax Spotmatic SP. This isn't in the list of cameras I wish I had, because this camera I actually did have. Uh, I had this camera in the 1980s, by which time it was already about 25 years old. Now it's around 60 years old. And to be honest, it's just about the best camera that you could imagine for its type. It has a shutter speed that runs from 1,000th of a second through to 1 second plus B. It has a flash sync at 1 60th of a second. It has little innovations, like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little coloured dot there. When I fire the shutter, the dot goes grey. Grey, reddish. That tells me that I've cocked the shutter. If I look at the front of the camera, I've got a 10 second clockwork timer. And on this side of the camera, I have a really interesting switch. Pentax were one of the first makes cameras, if not the first, to have through the lens metering in their SLRs. This is stop down metering. Now, if I take the lens off, M42 screw thread, then this lever here, if you can see, pushes forward the bar inside. The bar inside connects to this pin, and this pin, when pressed in, shuts the lens down. So, although this has through the lens metering, it doesn't have full aperture metering, it's far too early for that. So, when I want to take a meter reading of this camera, I set the shutter speed. I put this uh, control up and I move the aperture ring until the needle is in the middle of the gate. I've, I've got an illustration of that. When it's in the middle of the gate, I am going to take the picture. That means that I can focus the camera at full aperture but I have to meter the camera at the aperture that I want, wish to use. If I have a little look inside, now bear in mind this is 60 years old. This is rather nice. Now the lever wind doesn't bounce back, I have to push it back. But I have a a uh, horizontal running cloth bind shutter. Everything that you'd want. What it doesn't have <coughs> is a shot hot shoe. If I want to mount a flash gun on this, I can get a hot shoe to fit on it, or I can use an external bracket, which is probably a better idea. The flash plugs into the X socket or the FP socket, depending on whether I'm using for X, an electronic flash, or the FP, an old-fashioned bulb flash. One day I might do a video on why there are two sockets. Let's assume I've got to the end of the roll. To roll back, I press this button in here, which re uh, releases the clutch, and that allows me to roll the film back. Now, it doesn't have a door on the back, it doesn't have a little uh, pouch on the back to put the film, but here I can, on this dial, I can turn this to say which film I've got in. So it could be colour film, uh, which could be daylight or tungsten, it could be empty or it could be pancro. 
Right, black and white to you and me. This one's had a couple of knocks. I can understand that. When I had one of these before, uh, I ended up taking it on a rock climbing trip in Bude in Cornwall. And I dropped the camera from a height of about 30 foot. Uh, yeah, he picked up another dink, a little dent. The lens was fine and the camera just carried on. What is particularly nice about this lens is how smooth it is. Over the past few cameras I've looked at for manual focus cameras, uh, some of them are a bit stiff where they haven't been used that much, but this is absolutely superb. So there you have it. This is the Pentax Spotmatic SP, early 1960s. What a superb machine, absolutely wonderful machine.